Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors. Thanks for joining me this episode. What is it? I don't know. I really got to push it. I'm pushing it. I'm breaking in my, uh, I'm going to show you right now. I'm breaking in this bad boy right here. So I've been out here for 10 hours driving around. It's really uh, infringing on my video time, right? So basically what we're going to do today really quickly is we're just going to go through a couple of things when it comes to structure and just targeting blackfish when you're jigging all right I've got the underwater camera going out here and I just want to show you how shallow I'm just trying to expound on the jigging from last year I got a lot of good feedback from jigging blackfish and I just want to show you how I target them a perfect time to do it right now is in the spring uh, right now I got some seals out here with me in the shallow water and they're assassinating anything that moves down there all right seals are a very big predator to blackfish I don't know if anybody knows that but I learned that from a commercial guy when I was fishing the western sound for blackfish he said get out of here the seals ate everything go catch some flounder which we did so you know you are getting the best possible information what <laughs> we get some flounder episode too so we're still uh Still not in the fishing episodes yet. These are still the how-tos. We're burning time right now. The season's not open yet, but it's coming. So uh, about basically what we're gonna do real quickly is we're just gonna go through how to uh, find structure, shallow, where to find it. And basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be fishing. We're gonna be looking at areas like Oldfield Point up in the Smithtown area. Uh, crane neck and we're gonna look like at these are like races in the water where the points come out covered by rocks and With in a close proximity to that is shallow water with rocks. That's how I talk to these fish uh, You can do it other ways, but I threw the camera down there just to see what's going on then Hopefully when we get back to the studio not That's studio, not your grip. Right. That's a crack. Uh, we'll see what's happening. All right, so stay tuned kick go cheese outdoors. Here we go <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to start here with Oldfield Point. And Oldfield Point is probably no different than any other point of any harbor or anywhere that you have in your immediate area, okay? Especially people that watch over in Connecticut and Western Sound. All these little peninsulas and stuff hold structure rocks and closer to shore are shallow rock piles, all right? I want you to look for shallow rock piles like this and look for rubble piles, especially rubble piles like you'll see the one right here on the right hand side. That will is perfect feeding grounds for these blackfish all right so basically there's two ways to do it the best way to do it to see if the fish are there is literally throw a uh, a bait offering over there and see if you get bit if you get bit with one blackfish then there are other blackfish there all right these fish don't hang out by themselves and uh have a cigar all right they're social they prefer a certain piece of structure if you can find that fish on there then stick with it you're going to probably get a lot more fish off that one piece so what you're doing is you're targeting these fish early season. That's what I used to eat. I mean, you could fish them all season, but what I would do is I just target them early season and then work your way as I bring you into a deeper piece of cover here. Now check out this piece right here. It's in 30 plus feet of water. Those fish will move from those shallow pieces. They'll start working their way out deeper water, right? They ultimately go real deep. But uh, that's, the, that's the transition here. Stay shallow in the beginning. Have some fun with them. All I'm saying is just try these uh, jig fish real quick, have fun with them, just to see how they fight on the light tackle, and then go after the big sets, you know, the 50 pound setups for braid and knock them dead, gaze that day. All right, folks, that's what I'm talking about, all right? You go out there early season, talk to those small fish, not small fish, not all small fish, you can get some serious fish out of there, right? But talk at that shallow water, have some fun with your friends, do some jigging, pretty inexpensive. Again, you can go check out those tidal tails. Tidal tails make some excellent jigs, and uh, tidal tails. I want you to send me some jigs, all right? That's the bottom line here. On that note, I also would like a shipment of bucktails, all right? And one million dollars. No. All right, folks, another cool thing happened to us the other day. Hunter and I are out here. We're still breaking this thing. It takes, believe it or not, 10 hours is a long time to break in an engine. But we're out there and we received a phone call from American Hero right here, right? Dom Rosso reached out to us. If you don't know who Dom Rosso is, his company's name is Dynamis Alliance, all right? Dom Rosso, Google him, check him out. True American Hero here, reached out. Hunter's a big fan of his. Believe it or not, he gives us a FaceTime call. He was doing a training session down somewhere, I believe in Jersey. He was fairly close by. 
Hopefully he comes out here and does some fishing with us. That'd be sweet. But true American hero right here. Navy SEAL 12 years. Take a peek at this little hog. I'm just throwing it aside there. No, nothing yet. It's uh, still a little early, but we just got to run it. Get it broken in. My son's a big fan there, so I'm taking a video of you <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get out there and go crush some fish. And, uh, it's good talking to you. Yeah, definitely. Right, Thank you. Thank you. Right on, man. Love this guy, all right? Dom Rosso. Making America great. Thank you very much, pal. All right, let's get back to it. What are we doing? Let's go look. I want to bring you over to the Smithtown Reef right now. I want to show you some some uh, other areas that we could fish now. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to throw the uh, Kiko Cheese Outdoors audience the con. Kiko Cheese Outdoors Nation. Let me put that right here. Ready? Yeah. All right. The con's going to get a free shot. All right. I'm going to give it a free spot on the uh, Smithtown Reef too. All right. So pay attention to those numbers, the long lats on those things. Drop you on the hole. We also saw some guy drop his buoy down there. Left it there for a year. Not a year, but the end of the season. I'm not quite sure if. Uh, well, let's put it this way. That spot is going out there also to the Kid Cochise Outdoors viewing audience. Alright, so if you want to do some blackfish fishing off the uh, reef, I got a spot for you. I'll show you exactly where he left that thing. Alright, shame on him. Let's not pollute out there, right? Bring your stuff home with you, alright? It's like the Boy Scouts. Leave it like you left it. Left it like you leave it. Hold on, let me think about that. There's I gotta think about that. Seriously. You couldn't even be a pueblo. Leave it like you found it. Alright, thanks for watching Kid Cochise Outdoors. Let's go over to the reef. Let's go see what they're marking. Look at this right here. All aboard! Just gonna hold your finger there. Mark it. 38. Wow. Come down here and mark this too. Mark it. 39. Interesting. So he's gonna be on that right side. He's gonna be fishing that right side here. Slow down. We are next to it, right there. Stop the boat. So he's fishing right here. I'll show you his marker. Right, so there's a spot. That's his marker. Here it is on echo. This is me cavitating with the engine, so that's my bad. That's it. We're gonna leave that baby there for him, I guess. All right, folks, here's a couple more pieces on the uh, Smithtown Reef here. This reef bar is real attractive to these fish because all the uh, barnacles and stuff will adhere to that and the fish can eat those. There's another barge here that you can get a piece of that if you wanna look at those long lads, say hello to it. And now this last piece is the tip of the barge, which has got a huge hole in it. I would definitely target this area right here. So grab the long lat. I think I do it at the end here. All right, grab those numbers. Matter of fact, I'll try to mark it right now. And I hit it wrong. I gotta mark it one more time. You'll see the waypoint down in the bottom left there. All right, good luck with that. All right, folks, thank you again for watching Kiko Cheese. Make sure you go down to one's corner. I never get this right. Subscribe, like if you like. If you don't like, that's serious gonna happen, all right? Okay, so that you made the mooch. Remember, always take care, always brush your hair. Chubby kid, just gotta go.